okay um so i haven't really been covering the puff daddy stuff um it was just a it's a huge case with many different little pieces and i wanted to wait until we knew more before i done a video now a couple of weeks ago it came out that that the youngest was um 11 and then the last couple of hours i've seen that a new lawsuit being filed against puff daddy um in new york and this complaint details the sexual assault of a 10 year old boy a 10 year old little boy um who was at the time an aspiring actor and rapper now what happened was in an attempt to help their son's aspirations of getting into the industry the boy's parents hired an industry consultant now we don't know who this person is but this person said to this family recommended that you fly from where they were living at the time in in la to new york to meet with music industry figures now during the trip that same consultant arranged uh, for puff daddy to meet this young little boy for an audition which is huge um now puff daddy um asked to meet the boy alone before meeting the family which a lot of people in the comments were saying this is just weird you know the, the kids should be suing the parents and blah blah, blah. it is weird and it's very abnormal to me and to many others but within that industry this is quite normalized behavior i've watched um, a few documentaries um where one of them was um like this casting director um maybe a modeling or acting gig and i think the kids were like maybe eight-ish maybe a bit younger and this casting agent said that if a child dare came in the in the room with without his own cv without his own paperwork and with parents that they wouldn't even look twice at that kid they wouldn't want they wouldn't want to work with them um <clears throat> and cody feldman kind of said the same thing that um if you've got over protective parents in the industry the industry won't want you because the industry is a predator and the child is the prey and if the child comes in with protectors then the predator cannot get access to the prey and that's what it's all about at the end of the day um it's just a machine to feed the predators so it's quite normal unfortunately so this consultant um i'm sorry i'm sounds I'm conscious of sounds as I was a death. I haven't been well for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm just getting over something. I don't know what. But this consultant who I would love to know who the hell they are. Took this little boy to the hotel where Puff Daddy was. And he left him alone. Now the little boy got to perform a few rap songs for Puff Daddy. And um in turn he said oh well, yeah i can make it a huge star and how badly do you want it and then the little boy said that you know 10 year old little boy turned around and said that he would do anything to become a huge star now apparently there was another person present in the room and this person again we don't know this person's name um, gave the little boy a soda and then after the little boy had drank it um, he says he started to feel funny um, and the little boy's attorney who I'm guessing is not a little boy anymore but his attorney said um, that it was because his drink was laced with drugs including but not limited to ghb and ecstasy so after consuming the soda 
Puff Daddy um, told the boy to move closer to him. Now these details are going to get graphic, just a warning. So he says to the little boy, move closer to me. And then Puff Daddy pushed him down, telling him something to the effect of, you have to do some stuff you don't want to do sometimes. I mean, what kind of monster is this man? <sighs> Once this little boy was pushed down, Puff Daddy exposed his penis and told the little boy to kiss it. After the little boy refused, Puff Daddy apparently forced him to perform oral sex and the boy shortly lost consciousness after. When he came to, Puff Daddy's pants were undone. And the little boy's anus and buttocks hurt really bad. The little boy cried and said he wanted to see his parents. To which Puff Daddy told him that if he said anything to anyone, he would hurt his parents. Which is classic paedophile behaviour. Many of them do this. Many stepdads threaten kids. You know, if you, if you say anything, I'm going to kill your mum so the kid stays quiet for decades. When the consultant returned, she, so it's a woman who dropped this little boy off at this monster, um, she noticed he was badly shaken and he took him back to his parents, who ascertained that he was lethargic and acting differently. In the time since the alleged assault, the John Doe to this little boy, he has suffered from severe depression, anxiety, which both leaves him feeling hopeless and fatigued. This is a 10 year old little boy. I cannot believe the stories that are coming out. You know, men, women, little boys little girls he didn't care there was one um so we've got the 10 year old there was an 11 year old two weeks ago last week there was a 13 year old actor at the vma awards in 2001 it might have been i might have that wrong but um puff daddy was dating j-lo at the time um she alleged something similar and it's just like it's never ends. And I, I honestly think this man is worse than Epstein. I really do. Um, I want all the other people to start getting arrested. Like these idiots who are drugging the drinks, giving the drinks to these people, to these kids, um, joining in in the rapes. Um, you know, like that consultant dropping a little boy off at his hotel room. <sighs> it's just insane. Um, I didn't really want to make any videos on them because it really, really upsets me that another industry monster has been getting away with this for decades. I don't even start me on the murders. Um... It's just unbelievable. But if anything else comes out, um I probably I am following it. I'm following it really closely. Um But that's the latest. No doubt it won't be the last. Um whatever you're up to today, stay safe, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.